Hey there, Eric Hawkins in here, and I'd like to try to extol to you a little game improvisation. This is a game I tr came up with in literally two or three minutes, and I tested it within five or six minutes, and I think it's a pretty good idea. And it involves a couple of different games. Uh, one is a digital game. I'm, I'm kind of crossing two different games uh, called Katamari Daimacy and traditional checkers. Now, Katamari uh, is Japanese for clump. You, you can get the verb conjugate from that. Katamaru, which is to clump something together. And it's a digital game. We'll talk a little about it in a second here. So the concept is taking these two games. The uh, image here on the right being the Katamaru game, the digital game, which is you basically rolling around a mass and it clumps together objects which have less mass than it, it does. And then of course we have traditional checkers here with the, you're going to use the board and the pieces from that game. So we're going to take the clump mechanic from one and just kind of meld these games together and see how it works. So uh, the basic gameplay we start with the same set of pieces. Um, still, maybe start with two players and then see if it works. Maybe you step it up from there. Have a turn base, just like checkers. And basically, when you move, you can move one piece, one square at a time. And if that piece gets next to an opponent's piece that is equal or lesser size or mass, you now control that piece and it gets absorbed into one bigger piece. So let's see how that might work on a game piece. A so traditional checkerboard is eight by eight. So we'll start with some a basic two player uh, system here. So maybe the red goes first. And let's move one, I think we're gonna move one up, up, sorry, up one here. So yeah, this player has just moved up one space. That person has went first. Now blue gets a space, they move down. Now, Maybe this game, there could be a game mechanic where you could absorb something from diagonal that might be really interesting, but to make things simple, uh, let's go up beside it, and now that piece becomes a one bigger piece. So now, let's say this piece, the blue wanted to take that over, it couldn't. If it moved into this space, that then would become red because this blue has less mass or is, less, is a lesser density than the red, and red would take that piece. It's not... It has to be equal or equal size or less to absorb it. So, to combat that and have some extra strategy in the game, you can actually absorb maybe your own pieces together. So, you take these two pieces together, and then maybe later in the game, if this piece touched this piece, that would then whoever moved it onto that piece first would become one big four square piece, and that could still move only one uh, square position anywhere around the board. And I tried this very quickly with a, with a uh, set of uh, uh, ch a, chess, a checker set, and it worked kind of well, but I'm interested to play it with maybe uh, three or four. Four players might be really interesting too, with a bigger board, play with the different sizes and uh, uh, the uh, how big the table should be, maybe a 10 by 10 square. You can start with different shapes. That might be really interesting. So uh, the next step that I usually take in developing these things is to try and make a digital, uh, maybe sort of version like this, and we can play it over uh, Google Hangouts. So if you want to test this game with me, please contact me, erichawkinson.com, and we'll try it together. All right? All right, that's uh, Katamari Checkers. Thanks for watching.